My name is Rob van Dalen. I'm publisher at Elsphere in the chemistry department and I'm the initiator of the Green and Sustainable Chemistry Challenge. For this challenge we invite scientists from all over the world to submit green chemistry ideas that can be directly applied to local communities. And one of the reasons why I'm here in the Western Ghats is that Angkor Patvardhan has won this challenge last year for his biodiversity project for butterflies. Pollinators, they get attracted to the uh, amount of nectar uh, present in the particular flower mm -hmm. and it is uh, very important to know what quantum of nectar flower produces and uh, so what we do usually is we bag the flowers uh, so as to prevent pollinators from already uh, removing the uh, nectar and we bag them the previous day and we also number them like this so that individual differences can be uh, recorded down and uh, we collect uh, the following day we remove the bags and we collect the uh, uh, nectar uh, so uh, various types of flowers uh, we use different methods for uh, removing the nectar and uh, the nectar is really in a very small uh, quantum yes yeah uh, so this is how we uh, uh, collect the nectar once the uh, enough amount of nectar is collected. Uh -huh. We also uh, 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 subject the samples for uh, HPLC profiling to look at the different types of sugars and right. the concentration it has. So uh, randomly we choose uh, around uh, 100 odd flowers uh, from a particular for a particular species and then uh, look at the number of flowers that produce nectar and the proportion of the flowers uh, that don't have nectar, uh, so we call them as chitter flowers. Right. So, <laughs> right. so they also get benefited by not producing the nectar, but yet by because of the pollinator uh, visits. Right. So uh, estimation of standing nectar crop is a key thing uh, in understanding uh, the visits of a pollinator to a particular flower. Right. So for how many days do you bag uh, the flowers? We, we bag uh, for 12 hours. So oh, only 12 hours. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, we bag in the evening, mm -hmm. and then uh, the next morning we uh, take the first reading, and it has been also observed that plant produces different amounts of nectar at different time. So say for example, we bag uh, the previous evening at say in the around 6 p.m. in the evening. Then the next morning uh, we uh, analyze, uh, we take the nectar sample uh, around 9 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. Then again after three hours, and again after uh, three hours. Right. So this goes. So it, it all because plant keeps on producing the nectar.
Uh, may I ask you what you are doing in the project? I um, think you're more working on the uh, on the butterflies itself. So I capture butterflies, then measure their wingspan, body length, and proboscis length. I am collecting nectar from different flowers, and uh, individual flowers help um, produce the quantity, uh -huh. and collecting different method of nectar from the flower. So it's quite interesting to work uh, with Ankur and his team uh, in Amboli particularly uh, because it's uh, Amboli is such a diverse place where you'll get plenty of butterflies uh, during post monsoon and even in uh, summer season. Well, it was great meeting you and great seeing your work in the field uh, for this project and I wish you lots of success with it.